we've talked a good bit about how the Chinese government is printing yuan to buy foreign exchange to keep the yuan devalued. But what I want to do in this video is actually look at the data and show you that I wasn't making all of that stuff up. So this is actually data from the People's Bank of China. This is directly from their website. And right over here, this is the 2010 money supply. This is the 2009 money supply. You can get any money supply any year that you want from their site. And what we could do is just look at what happened over just even 2010 or from a same point in 09 to 010. Let me take November 09 to November 010 and just I'll look at the, their M1 money supply. I'll look at it at their M1 money supply. And I'm going from November to November because we'll see the, some of the other charts. That's uh, We actually have data for there. We don't have December to December for some of the other charts I'm going to use in this video. But it just gives the general idea. If you go from November of 2009, the M1 money supply, now this is in 100 million yuan. So there was a 212,493 100 million yuan. And we'll try to convert these into numbers that make a little bit more sense. And then you fast forward to November of 2010, the M1 is 259,420 100 million yuan. So if we, let's get a calculator out and actually make some sense of that. So a year later, it's at 259. 420, and from that, let's subtract what it was before, 212,493. So the difference is 46,927. Now this is in 100 million yuan. So if you want it in million yuan, you want to multiply by 100. I think it's pronounced yuan or yuan. I'm not a Chinese pronunciation expert. So that gets us to 4. This gets it, This is in millions of yuan. And now if we want it in billions, we can divide this by 1,000. So let's divide this by 1,000. So it's roughly 4.6, 4.7 trillion yuan increase in their N1 money supply from November 2009 to November 2010. So a pretty dramatic increase. And just so you could put this in the scope of dollars, I'll use a rough approximation for the current exchange rate, 6.5 yuan per dollar. So let me just divide that by 6.5 to get a rough approximation for what that would be in dollars. And we get 721. Remember, this was in billions. So we're actually $722 billion expansion in the M1 money supply of China from November 2009 to November 2010. In the next video, we're going to see how this compares to their actual increase in foreign exchange, or actually foreign assets. Uh, and we can see how much of this was actually just to go and go buy things from other countries, or buy foreign exchange from other current countries, and essentially to keep, to keep the Chinese yuan devalued. This is Salman Khan of the Khan Academy for CNBC.